Good day, I'm Michael Exich with Canamax USA and very pleased to uh, create this informational video on our duct air leakage tester 6900. This is the tube. Inside the tube will be the hose that hooks up to the duct. Unscrew the top and out comes the hose. The duct air leakage tester 6900 comes standard with pneumatic tires, allows you to walk through job sites, going over multiple obstacles, potential hazards. It's got very sturdy construction, powder coat. It has a crane hook for in environments where you may not be able to wheel this up and you have uh, a crane union that you need to have this machine moved up and down by. As earlier described, you have the both flow grid and orifice holders so they don't move around. You have the controller box, which we'll go into further. And you also have the USB drive on that controller box, which we'll also go into further. The fan curve will be described as shown. We also have a place to put your 3 8 plugs and store them so they're not all over. You can put all your paperwork, any of your engineering drawings, you can write on this and carry some of your tools. So what we're going to do is show where the high flow or flow grid, release the collar. This is the calibrated flow grid and to be used just like it says in the manual on page 10. Also, comes with a low flow orifice to be used, again calibrated, back to the controller to be used in a low flow. Getting to know your controller box. So inside your manual, and we'll refer to it right now, on page 8, you have the power, the temperature, motor control, positive pressure, negative pressure. Off of the back of the controller, you will con connect to the color coded, the blue on the blue, the red on the red. Last but not least is the static pressure hookup. What you'll do is you will unravel your hose and as referred to on the back of the controller, you will plug this into the last port. Now we'll show you after you drill your 3 8 hole in your duct, you will insert the static pressure probe into the environment you're going to test. So we're now going to hook this onto the four inch inlet that our mechanical contractor has so kindly put on for us. So we'll slide it on. We'll grab our slot screwdriver now that I've finally got it all snugged up, I'm going to take the other end. The cams are in this position. Set it in. And lock it. Where we are in an environment where this could be a hazard, we have these cotter pins on the actual uh, the key ring. 
and you can install the cotter pins so that the cam will not open on one side of it. Duct air leakage, as everyone is aware, we need to calculate surface area. That's where we're going to take length times width and however many sides. For this experiment, we've calculated this, our, our test duct size, at 27.5 square feet of surface area. We're now going to do a test. The first thing we will do is go to accreditation. We're using a flow grid. We're using the US standard, which is SMACNA. For this experiment, we're using air leakage class 48. 27.5 square feet of surface area. We're going to run a six second test. We will build up static pressure in the duct. Our goal here is to test that four inches of static pressure. We have, as you can see, a considerable leak. We will begin our test. We have zero one, and that's moving. We'll hit next. Then we hit on the touch screen, start. Shows all of our calculated pieces. We're using a slow grid, the US standard, the class, the surface area, the temperature present, our pressure, and our pressure in our duct. This is how much is we are leaking, this is how much we're allowed to leak. The machine gives us a fail. We will push save. Then we go from four test to number five. Positive duct leakage test pass. Accreditation, flow grid next, US standard next, air leakage class 48 next, 27.5 square feet of surface area next, six second test time. We will build up static pressure in the duct. We have nine inches in the duct. Pressure. Press the start. We're allowed to leak. Standard SMACNA class 48, 27.5 square feet of surface area. Temperature inside the environment is 84 degrees, 29.5 pressure and 9.247 pressure in the duct. We press save and it shows our time test, our, all of our time date stamp. Negative testing is achieved by removing the connection and installing it on the side. The flow grid or orifice remains on the top. Now that you've installed this on the side, we perform accreditation, flow grid, SMACNA standard. We're going to use the same air leakage class 48, same 27.5. We're going to do a six second test. This will show us 
negative pressure. We begin to start. We're left to leak one. We're leaking two. We have a fail. All of our points, grid, U.S. standard, class 48, size of the duct, temperature, pressure, static pressure in the grid, inside the duct. Again, we hit save, we go from 5 to 6. Negative test passing. Accreditation, flow grid, next, U.S. Standard SMACNA, next, class 48, next, 27.5 square feet of surface area, next, we're performing a six second time. We'll build a uh, pressure in the duct. We're showing around 9.6 inches of pressure in the duct. Next, we now get our six second time test. We're showing the grid, the U.S. standard, the glass, Surface area, temperature, pressure, and the pressure inside the duct. We're allowed to leak. We're leaking. We got to pass. Our safe test of eight, of ten, and hit stop on our test. Once you've done all your tests and you want to download it to your USB drive, you can, to leave the screen, you can touch on the touch screen in the top left corner. It will go back to the main screen. At the main screen, you will press USB. You take your USB drive, plug it into the unit, transmission OK. Now you can take your data back to your engineer and the document can be uploaded to the building owner. Another way to review your data without actually downloading it to a USB is go to My Data and use your up and down arrow keys to review your tests. All are numbered, numbered of, of whatever number to however many tests are saved on the machine. How to perform tests in multiple measurement. So under setting, you can set your date and time. Temperature unit, you just touch the screen. You have a choice between Celsius or Fahrenheit. Atmospheric unit, kilopascals or airflow unit, you have cubic meters per second, liters per second, cubic meters per hour or CFM, pressure, pascal or inch in water pressure. Very soon Canamax is pleased to announce that we will have the percentage of leakage standard built into the duct leakage tester 6900.